So about a, a couple weeks ago, Luke Kilpatrick was in the studio talking about dating apps. And uh, Trentney is here to talk about a new way to do dating uh, uh, with social. And uh, it was interesting enough that I wanted to see more about it, talk to the entrepreneur behind it. Trent me right now. <clears throat> so who are you? Hi, my name is VS, VS Joshi. I'm the founder and CEO of Trint Me. Trint Me is a social app to express your true intentions. And the reason why I started is because I wanted to solve a problem that I have faced all throughout my life. And that's the reason why I started this uh, particular startup. Yeah. It's a simple social platform to express your true intentions. And it's aimed at, date, at daters, so I can't really use it because I'm married. Okay. <laughs> if I'm using it, it's a little weird. <laughs> um, but the, tell me about the dating space, because there's uh, Timber out there, there's all, all sorts of, of the older school dating apps yes. that we talked about with Luke. Um, what makes this different? How does it fit into this crowded space of okay. dating apps? Okay, so, so I mean, uh, recently we were featured by Mashable as one of the top 15 hottest dating apps. And honestly, I didn't like that categorization as a dating app. Yes, our use case is dating currently, Here's the thing, I feel that dating sites, they are helping you meet new people. They are helping you in the social discovery aspect of it. That is their main purpose. But Robert, you know, meeting new people was never my challenge. I went to school, I went to college, I went to workplaces, I went to events. I met new people. I met people from a different, on the, from the other sex. My challenge was always about taking the next step. Because the moment I take the next step, whatever that next step was, it was a disaster waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. And it happened. Every time it happened, okay? I open my mouth, it's a problem. I introduce an awkwardness into the relationship. There's a yeah. lot of rejection, a lot of embarrassment, a lot of awkwardness. But then, not expressing your true intentions is also not a solution. Yeah. It, for all you know, the other party wanted the same thing as you wanted. But you missed an opportunity. Yeah. So damned if you say something and damned if you don't. That is the problem and that is the problem we are trying to solve. So uh, let's see it and, uh, and okay. talk about how you uh, come at the, at the dating world that, okay. in a way that other people don't. Okay, so uh, as soon as you come on the app, you see all your Facebook friends and friends of friends. So these are all my Facebook friends and friends of friends. I can select a particular friend, yeah? I can select a particular friend and a menu of intentions pops up. Yeah. And these are the various intentions. They go all the way from a very innocuous one like giving her a compliment like you are cool or I want to have a cup of coffee with you or much more serious like romance or hookup or whatever it is. And I have set my true intentions at this point in time. She doesn't know anything. I can provide her some clues as to who I am and things like that. Yep. And I say done. Okay. So, it, so she's not on tri uh, trip me. Yeah. Uh, so she got what a, a Facebook message or an okay. email? Okay, so we are providing uh, another way by which we can send an anonymous email to her by okay. which to get her onto the system. Okay, at the same time, there is also another way by which we can get her is to uh, I can let's say select a particular person. Okay, so I select let's say I select her. Okay, a menu pops up. What are your true intentions with this person? So let's say I select these three. I select this phone. I said Trent personally. Here I am sending a a private Facebook message telling her that yes I have set some true intentions for you she still doesn't know what my true intentions are maybe I'm just giving her a compliment maybe I just want to have a cup of coffee so with she her. gets a link she has to click yes on she it. has to click on it does and she, she have to download the app okay yes she has okay. to download the app and she get the same menu as I got now she can select whatever she wants to select if there is a match of those intentions then only the matched intention is conveyed to both of us okay the unmatched intentions are never revealed to her so if she says, I only want to have coffee with you, we'll get matched up and I'll, I'll see that she wants to have coffee. That's right. And she will never know that I also had other intentions like romance or hookup yeah. or something like that. So there is no awkwardness into our relationship. And that is what we are trying to uh, focus on. Now, it, I only can see people who are already my Facebook friends or can yes. I see other people? You can see Facebook friends and friends of friends. Friends I guess of friends. Okay. You have 5,000 friends and imagine every 5,000 has 5,000 friends. So you have a pool of 2.5 million people. Yeah. Yes, and we, that's what we think, that most of the relationship, in fact, research suggests 80% of the relationship start between friends and friends of friends. Yeah. Right? And here, the challenge is not about meeting new people. The challenge is about taking the next step. The social anxiety, 
that comes when you're trying to take the next step. So uh, it's pretty simple, uh, yeah. the app. Uh, how do you build a business with this? You know, how do you get paid? Okay, so there are a couple of ways, four different ways we have figured out we can do this thing. We have added some gamification elements and things like that. Now imagine, imagine that you have a match. It's a highly monetizable moment at that point in time. So yes, we can ask for some tokens for that particular thing. Okay, we can ask for tokens, let's say if in case somebody has given the clues as to who you are and things like that. We can ask some tokens for that. So here, if I come over here and, uh, <coughs> oh, okay, so, so I think I click over here, uh, I say Trent anonymously. Yeah. And I can say, okay, I'm from Mountain View. Okay, we have these friends, common and mutual friends and things like that. So these are the clues I'm giving her. Yeah. Okay. I can send it to her. Okay. So for her, if I receive something called as trends, I'm interested in knowing whom are they from. Oh, I, I would like to have some clues. We have some monetization aspects over there. That okay. is one thing. All these trends, now we have launched in a, one college or so, the prototype we have launched in one college. We have seen people setting more than 1,000 trends. Maybe at a later date we can say that, okay, all the trends are going to expire after 30 days. And yes, for you to renew your trends, okay, there is a monthly charge of let's say $2 or $2.99 or something like that. Okay, so that way you renew all your trends yeah. for another 30 days, another 30 days and things like that. So that is another way. There can I, can I uh, click on this person and get back to their Facebook so I can see more about her or can she see more about you? If she figures that out. Yeah. So yeah. So I think uh, obviously this, she could type it in a Facebook. That's right. <laughs> so I think this is uh, this is this is the information that we are collecting from Facebook right now. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So let's say we selected this person. Okay. So so more info right now. Okay. So this is these are our mutual hundred mutual friends and things like that. Okay. This yeah. is the information, and we are also going to add interest and all those kind of things right over here. What are her interests and based upon that I can because friends of friends I may not know intimately yeah. and over there I will know more about their interests and things like that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it's simple business. How are you funding this and uh, how did you get the app built? Okay. So currently it is all family and friend money. Amazing friends, amazing family members who have put money in it. And nowadays, you know, coming up with an app doesn't require that much amount of money. So I have. Uh, we have built this thing. We have two software engineers here. We have two software engineers in India. Yeah. And between the four of us, we have kind of built this uh, 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 app platform. We launched in a couple of colleges. We won a couple of awards. We won the Big Idea Competition Award. And uh, because when we launched the prototype, the iPhone prototype three months back, uh, there is where uh, it kind of spread really fast in uh, one particular college. And there's where Mashable came into picture and they said, okay, one of the 15 hottest. But now I think is the time when we are kind of having an official launch of this app yeah. uh, on Valentine's Day. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's a good time to launch a dating app. Are you going to come out with another app that has customized uh, intentions? Because I, I want to use this kind of technology for, hey, I'd like to interview you. You know, uh -huh. that's not dating, uh -huh. right? Yeah, okay. Or I want to yep. uh, make a partnership with you, or I'd want to have coffee with you. That makes sense, right? Perfect. Uh, yeah. this are you going to have an app that has intentions outside yeah. so, of dating? So, so today, these are the six intentions we have. There's nothing that stops us from changing these intentions. I mean, if in case you want to, again, let me give you one example about dating and relationship. Somebody said, why don't you have an intention called, let bygones be bygones. You know, sometimes I make a mistake, but I'm sorry only if the other person is sorry or something like that. Okay, so so those are the kind of things. But yes, it can be used for many as many intentions as you want, and we can keep on changing the intentions. We can give you a list of customized intentions, whatever your intentions you put in. We add three or four more, yeah. and that many goes to your friend. Right, but you you're building a brand around dating, and I'm not going to be able to use a dating app. So I I'm wondering if you're going to build a second app that is going to have a broader set of intentions so, that goes beyond dating. Okay. So we are building a brand around true intentions, and that's the reason why the name is Trent, Trent right. Me. Okay, so around true intentions, and those true intentions can be anything and everything is what we're saying. Okay, yes, I mean, should we build a separate uh, kind of a thing? That's something that we'll take a decision at a later date. But right now we're building around true intentions, and that's the reason why we not putting the dating elements. Yes, the, this is we feel the lowest hanging fruit, the dating thing. Okay, yeah. it can spread and things like that. So that's why we started with this thing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's out now, or is the it prototype out? is out right now, yeah. and the main version. I mean, you are the first person to see it actually. Uh, it's going to come on the 14th of Feb. We are trying it a bit earlier. 
and hopefully we'll be able to get it by 12th or uh, 12th or yeah maybe by 12th yeah that's what we're talking about cool. right now yeah so uh, you should have a uh, be my valentine as one of the yes yes <laughs> <laughs> absolutely i mean we were thinking in fact the romance one yeah. i said why don't we have just be my valentine or something like yeah. that and maybe makes sense in early February. <laughs> the rest of the year, maybe not so much. <laughs> no, no, it, it makes absolute sense. We have kind of debated that thing. Can we have that one? Okay. And maybe after 14 February, that changed. Is this iPhone only or is it Android as well? Uh, right now, it is iPhone. The prototype is iPhone. Uh, by 14th of February, we will have the official version of the iPhone. And by end of February, we will have the Android app also ready. So cool. everything will be ready and we'll kind of uh, go further from there. Very yeah. cool. Where, where do we find it? On the uh, iTunes store? Oh, I uh, Trent Me. Yeah, Trent Me. Take friendships further. That's our tagline. Take friendships further. Very cool. Well, thanks for coming in and giving me a first look at it. Yeah, I, I, I just want to say about Rackspace. Rackspace has been phenomenal. Uh, for us. Oh, you're a, I didn't even know that, that you're a Rackspace yes, customer. Yes, oh, yes, yes. I'm a Rackspace customer and in fact, I was with some other hosting companies. The reason why I'm with Rackspace is thanks to you. Uh, I realize that you guys are in the startup ecosystem and that helps tremendously because, you know, and making it success is also there's some luck involved, some serendipity somewhere. Yeah. And because you're in the startup ecosystem, I saw you interviewing many entrepreneurs and things like that. I said, okay. Yes, these guys understand the startup thing. That's why we do this. That's so. right. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I'm kind of, I mean, yeah, you do a great job, phenomenal job, but I also want to commend your leadership team for thinking of creating a position like this. Yeah. Because this is how we startup kind of, startup guys kind of look at it. And again, so that is one thing. And at the same time, you know, like when I came in, your thing was fanatical service. And I said, okay, it's a marketing buzzword. But no, that has not been the case. It has absolutely been a great interaction whenever I have interaction with anybody. Uh, Tiffany Quintana, she, in fact, she is the one who kind of suggested coming up with these kind of uh, things yep. and using the brand and things like that. We try to help. Absolutely. There is no doubt about it. So all the startup guys and things like that. Folks, I mean, you know, this is the place. I mean, Rackspace is the thing that well, you thank, consider. Thank you so much. I didn't ask thank for a, a <laughs> plug at all uh, to get get on our show. I truly came here because of these interviews I saw, because of your startup ecosystem and all those kind of things. And thank I've been you. absolutely very happy with, uh, with the, you're I'm more than partner. partner. You're more than ra uh, hosting providers. There's a name and face behind it. And Quintana said, okay, come over here. You can use our offices. Uh, and she has been very helpful, giving a lot of... Uh, uh, feedback and things like that. So wonderful. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks a lot.